talking about y'all yet. Stay having Kaya name in her mouth. First of all, bitch, I wouldn't have said shit about Kaya if these people wouldn't have asked me nothing about motherfucking Kaya. And, it's, and in all fairness to you. It's raggedy bitches like you. What a camera. It's raggedy bitches like you that have kept this shit going because I ain't have no beef with her. It's bitches like you that keep this, that start shit like this. Whole kiss my motherfucking ass, punk bitch, because you were not there and you don't know what the fuck was going on. Bitch ass hoe. And you know that. And all fairness to you, that she didn't want to talk about. I did say that I didn't want to talk about Kaya. Fuck that bitch ass hoe. I'm sick of hoes like that. I'm sick of bitch ass hoes like that. Cause it's bitch ass hoes like y'all that got this the fucking shit to go on like it was. You punk ass motherfucker. You so the curse your ass off. So let me are you, come on. Bitch ass hoe. Brilliant. Are we ready? Fuck bitch. Okay. So okay, so really quick, uh you just read a comment. What would we let's this went on the record. So what you read a comment. What happened? This stupid ass bitch down here talking about some, uh, I got Kaya name in my mouth. Bitch, I would have said shit about Kaya, bitch. Fuck you, ho. She cussed like she got a dunk sitting outside on 28. Fuck yeah. okay, ass, ho. I would have said nothing about Kaya. And in all fairness, when I talked to T.S. in Sydney and even last night, she asked that we not talk about Kaya, but I told her, you know, we, this is a show where you can't come on the show and not talk about things. Uh, we gotta ask what people want to know, so she twice asked not to, and out of respect for I her. I did, and, and I ain't sitting up here ragging on that girl. I didn't say shit about her, and I said if she, if she get on her video right now and talk fuck shit about me, I ain't got nothing to say, because I don't have to prove nothing to a bitch like this in the comment section, bitch. You ain't the judge. <laughs> You ain't the judge. When the shit get down to where we gotta sit in front of attorney motherfucker, you don't, you ain't gonna be there. Right. You gonna be home trying to wash your baby's ass, bitch, or fuck your nigga's dick. <laughs> what you should be doing now, you fat, nasty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one thing you don't have a problem with is telling people how you really feel. <laughs> Because, it's because, the thing is, I don't, I yeah, have, let's, let's, I have not went in a way, Kai has went in yeah, ways that okay. Let me say this, yeah, yeah, here's what I'm saying, as, as much as I would love you to go out, but I would say, I'm, the reason I'm going to pull you back is that what I love about your personality, let me my weed. what I love about your personality and your character is that, you know, you have built, I'm going to tell you, the first time I heard of you was, Tanisha Thomas called me, yes, I, I forgot you. where the fuck I was, and she said, there's somebody named T.S. Madison, you have to do this car show with, like riding a car and do, what was that? Karaoke? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, it's it's my show called Let Me Pick You Up that I do for World of Wonder, yeah. And now are you in there singing or what are you doing? Well, what I, what we do is I pick up, I pick up celebrities and we go get break, uh, something to eat. And I get I get intimate with them and talk. Oh, that's kind of like, so she was like, you got yeah, to do the show. Yeah, kind of like that. You got to do the show. And I really didn't understand. I, was, I wasn't familiar with you at the time. And I, and, but since then, having now paid attention. But Tanisha and I did. We piloted a show that for VH1 that, uh, uh, can I talk about that? Yeah. yeah. We piloted a show. I think they gave it to Amber, Amber Rose, I think. Mm -hmm. But we, she and I piloted a show. It was okay. really good. But then they took it back for Amber Rose, gave it back to us, and then they didn't do it. Okay. You know how TV works. Mm, I know. And this is why when people talk about, oh, Master is starstruck by people. I'm like, bitch, do you know how much I work in Hollywood just because of your fuck ass didn't know who I was? <laughs> that don't, don't mean that, that, that the bitch, I can walk in Viacom right now, bitch, and it's going to be three people, three head people from Viacom that's going to come down with their camera phones and be like, hey, my God, Madison, you're here. Well, and you're very supportive of other people's platforms, too. But yeah. you know, in this space, sometimes the people say, why don't they post you on this side or this side or this side? You know, some people are threatened by other people's success, whereas we support and post everybody. We post Queen's Core, we post Breakfast Club. I want all black people to win. I want all the fucking win. Yeah. I, I ain't never been here. Uh oh, no, not, not look. Now they talk about some, I'm a Uncle Tom Coon because I get white bags. That's y'all hoes that's gonna, that's gonna that's that's get the same reason why Cat Williams mad at Kevin Hart. That's why they, that's why them hoes gonna always get them EBT bags, bitch. That's why they gonna always be get an EBT bag. That's why they gonna always be right there in their neighborhood at the corner store. That's why they gonna always do that because they don't wanna they don't wanna ex, they don't wanna expand. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Suck my suck my cool ass, bitch. <laughs> Say it again. Suck my cool ass, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that was so good. so what do you think? What do you think is maybe one of the most uh, biggest misconceptions about you that people have? Everything. Mm -hmm. Any negative thing that they got, that's a misconception because they don't the mother, they don't motherfucking know me. Man, you do Let me tell you, I'm a real ass bitch. I've handled this whole situation way better than I would have before. Mm. 
Because before, mm. first 25 year old Madison. Bitch, 30 year old Madison. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Maybe even 35 year old man. 39 year old man. <laughs> <That was bad. laughs> it would have been a different thing, but you know, I ain't, that ain't my route. You feel me? Yeah, I get a di- like, like, what, what you call say? She get a different type of bag. I get a different type of money. I got a different type of relationship. I can't be out here. I'm not going to be out here going back and forth. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm not going to be doing that because when you see those videos, when you play those videos back, of you going back and forth with somebody, like they chop it up and they get the parts of the video where you are so bad and then they like edit it together. Yeah. It's it's like, like evil. You make one video, one, like somebody going to chop this piece up and going to be like, yeah, that's what I want to fan and I did. Uh, yeah. And it's going to be like out there. It's, they People going to miss the entire thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's why I don't do it. I say, fuck it. Have your people here, my people. Have your lawyer here, my lawyer. But sometimes you, if we all snap, we all have a break. Yeah, I We're snap right too. here because it's just like I, because when I came here, my whole thing was like, Jason, I don't really want to talk about the kind of stuff. I really don't want to, because I don't, it's still fresh and it's, it's a sensitive situation and I just don't want to keep it going. I just want to show her. <laughs> she got gag water going on and y'all told me gag water. So let's talk about the show. Mm-hmm. The show on 319 comes back. Is it going to be called The Queen's Court? I'm not gonna say anything until 319. We'll see what it's okay. Well, I'll be tuned in. Is it gonna still be on Monday? Oh, it's gonna be on Monday. It's at 10 p.m. ish. Colored folk time. time. Colored folk time. Colored but who's doing the pops? Who's that? Who said that? Hey. Okay. Do you live in LA? I live in LA. Okay. So you shoot if you do that. Mm-hmm. Who said that? Who? Okay, I just was wondering because it was a Did anybody know? I don't know. What's going to happen on March 19th? I, you all have to tune in. Now, you got to tune in. I see you and Nene Leeds doing that together. Um, Nene ain't, Nene, I love Nene, but Nene ain't going to go like, you know. Well, see, my thing now, the sh- I, I do. I can't tell you that the show's format will change. It's not, like, Kaya has her show at 8 called Gag Water. Y'all tune in to Gag Water. That's nice of you. Yeah. Listen, I, I want her to win. Mm-hmm. I always want her to win. Like, bitch, we was together, we was winning. So I want her to do her thing. Like, if she, if she. Did Kaya smell as good as you did? Yeah. She did. Kaya. Like she worked with you at Kaya always I did like, like, incense, light and vibes and cocoa butter. Like. Kaya, yeah, she's beautiful. She's, 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 she is beautiful. Like, the bitch skin is, I mean, the bitch is gorgeous. Like, people can say what, like, they try to talk about stuff about her teeth and this. Kaya is gorgeous. So when the cameras go off, is she still that same girl like all of the theatrics on the show or is it just like, because I don't walk around talking about sucking dick every day. Well, that's, I don't either, but people no, think it's happening. No, but on the show I do. Okay. So what I'm saying is like on the show outside of the show, was she always on 10 like that or is that? No. Because talking to you on the phone and talking to you even before here, you're you're a great personality. Mm-hmm. You know how to turn it up. Same like me at New York here from I love New York. Mm-hmm. She, she said, I, when I decided to do reality TV, I thought every woman who walks in the room with another woman wants to be the only one a man thinks about, so I punched it up. Yeah. Well Kaya is a Kaya is a mother and she's a grandmother. Oh, oh I didn't shit, know I didn't know that. Yeah, she she she's she has her gear she goes home with her grandkids and she has grandkids. She on. she loves her dog, she loves nature and you know? So you're gonna make sure that we get any clips you have from the 319. Oh, I'll be sending you over things very soon. Please, please send us stuff. So very soon out there. Because Hollywood, I'm not will be covering 319. Is that gonna be in LA? No, it's gonna be in Atlanta. Oh, I thought it's gonna be in LA. It's gonna be in LA. It's gonna be in Atlanta, and also it's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be good. You know, the show is gonna be very much so. It's, it's gonna be funny. Like if the show about it is funny, but if you if they looking for me to read or they looking for someone who you know, they looking for anything like that like I'm not doing it. And if a caller calls in and they start talking about Kai, I'm gonna hang up on it. I'm telling them now. Mm. I don't wanna I don't wanna I'm not talk when the show, the show goes, goes on. I'm not talking about Kai. So you can say right now, you know how you would have locked since your last time speaking on Kai. Until it gets litigious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you gotta talk. Mm-hmm. Until it gets bad, like you know, I'm not. She can go, like that girl can have her, to have your thing, do your thing, sister. If that's what, if that's what shines your star, if that's what does does it for you, do it. So let me switch the topic just a little bit because Atlanta. I haven't been in Atlanta and partied in Atlanta since then. No, oh, like party. I've been to Atlanta since then, but I have party since then. Do you go out in Atlanta? Because my name ain't on the on the fly. I don't go nowhere. So you only go out if you're paid. That's it. 
I only make moves. I make. I don't. I so you only go to gold room and hang out. Mm-hmm. If it ain't no money moves, what the fuck I'm making it for? What the fuck I'm finna? What the hell I'm finna be sitting up with niggas in the club, drinking exactly. with niggas in the club? I used to say that to them hoes that used to be selling pussy. Bitch, what the fuck is you going out partying with your motherfucking dad?